use tools how to use tools in photoshop use tools when you start photoshop the tools panel appears at the left of the screen and some tools in the tools panel have options that appear in the context sensitive option tower and you can expand some tools to show hidden tools beneath them and a small string at the lower right of the tool icon signals signals the presence presence of hidden tools and you can view information about any tool by positioning the pointer over it and the name of the tool appears in a tool tab below the pointer and for a bacterial bacterial ov overview of the different tool in photoshop see tool galleries and in this screenshot now explore photoshop mix on your ipad and iphone and with Photoshop Max, you can perform non-destructive photo enhancements and make selections and cut out and mix images and do much more right from your iPhone or iPad and select and display tools how to select and display tools in Photoshop to select a tool if you'd like to select any tool in Photoshop do one of the following option click a tool in the, the tools panel and if there is a small triangle at a tools lower right corner hold down the mouse button to view the hidden tools and then click the tool you want to select and option 2 press the tools keyboard shortcut and the keyboard shortcut is displayed in a tool tab for example you can select the move tool by pressing v by pressing v pressing and holding a keyboard shortcut key lets you temporarily switch to a tool and when you let go of the shortcut key photoshop returns to the tool you were using before the temporary switch like this screenshot now accessing tool a is meaning number a is meaning tools panel and number b is meaning active tool and c is meaning hidden tools and d is meaning tool name and e is meaning tool shortcut and f is meaning hidden tool triangle and what about cycle through hidden tools cycle through hidden tools by default you cycle through a set of hidden tools by holding down shift and repeatedly pressing a tool shortcut key and if you prefer to cycle through tools without holding down shift you can disable this preference and we have two options here now option one choose edit then select preferences then select general window or photoshop then select preferences then general mac os and so option two deselect deselect use shift key for tool switch and how to change tool pointer how to change tool pointers each default pointer by the way has a different host hot spot each default pointer has a different hot spot where an effect or action in the image begins and with most tools you can switch to places cursor which appear as cross hairs centered around the hot spot in most cases in most cases the pointer for a tool is the same as the icon for the tool and you see that that pointer when you select the tool and the default pointer for the mercury tools in the the crosshair pointer for the next for the next tool the default pointer is the beam and for the painting tools the default pointer is the brush size icon we have two options here option one choose edit then preferences then cursors then cursors window or choose photoshop and then preferences and cursors mac os option two choose tool pointer setting under painting cursor or other cursors and we have a standard is meaning displays pointers as tool icon and presses is meaning displays pointers as cross hairs and normal brush tip is meaning the pointer outline corresponds to approximately 50% of the area that the tool will affect this option shows the pixels that would be most visibly affected by the way and so what about full size brush tip full size brush tip is meaning the pointer outline corresponds to nearly 100% of the area that the tool will affect 
or nearly all the pixels that would be affected and so what about show cross here in brush tip it's meaning displays cross here's in the center of the brush shape and so what about show only cross here while painting it's meaning improves performance with large brushes and number three click ok click ok is meaning the painting cursors options control the printers for the following tools eraser and pencil and and paint brush and healing brush and color stamp and pattern stamp and quick selection and smooch smooch blur and sharpen dodge and burn and spunk the other cursors option control the printers for the following tools Mercury and lasso and polygonal lasso and magic wand and crop slice and patch and eyedropper and pen and gradient line and bent bucket and and magnetic lasso and magnetic pen and free form free form pen and the measure and colors sampler to toggle to toggle between standard and prices and uh, and prices cursor in some tool printers press caps lock so what about visually what about the visually visually resize visually resize change hardness visually resize change hardness visually resize a change hardness of painting cursor you can resize or change the hardness of a painting cursor by dragging in the image and as you drag the painting cursor previews your changes and the previews require OpenGL and to resize a cursor press ALT ALT then right click Windows or Control Option Mac OS and drag left or right to change hardness drag up to uh, up or down and how to use how to use the options bar how to use the options bar by the way the options bar appears below the menu bar at the top of the workspace and the options bar is context sensitive it changes as you select different tools and some setting in the option bar such as painting modes and opacity are common to several tools and some are specific to one tool and you can move the options bar in the workspace by using the gripper bar and you can dock it at the top or bottom of the screen and tool tips appear when you position the pointer over a tool and to show or hide the option bar choose when to then options like this screenshot now less option bar a is meaning gripper bar and p is meaning tool tab and to return to return tools to return tools to their default setting right click window or control click mac os the tool icon in the options bar and then choose reset reset tool or reset all tools from the context menu for more information on setting options for a specific tool search for the tools name in photoshop help so what about tool presets tool presets is meaning tool presets let you set and, re uh, and reuse tool setting and you can load and edit and create libraries of tool presets using the tool preset beaker in the option bar and the tool presets panel and the preset manager and to choose a tool preset click the tool preset beaker in the option bar and select a preset from the pop up panel and you can also choose a window then tool presets and select a preset in the tools presets panel like a screenshot now a screenshot now as meaning view the tool preset beaker as meaning click the tool preset beaker in the options bar to show the tool preset pop up panel B is meaning select a preset to change the tools options to the preset which applies each time you select the tool until you choose reset tool from the panel menu C is meaning deselect to show all tool presets and select to show presets for only the tool selected in the toolbox and how to create a tool preset how to create a tool preset to create a tool preset we have many steps step number one choose a tool then and set the options 
you want to save as a tool preset in the options bar. Step number two, do one of the following. We have two options. Click the tool preset button next to the tool at the left of the options bar. Option two, choose window, then select the tool presets to display the tool presets panel. And number three, step number three, do one of the following. Two options again. Option number one, click the create new tool preset button. Option number two, choose new tool preset from the panel menu. And step number four, enter a name for the tool preset and click then click OK. And how to change the list of tool presets? How to change the list of tool presets? If you'd like to change the list of the tool presets, click the triangle to open the tool presets pop-up panel menu and choose one of the following. Show all tool presets, shows all loaded presets and sort by tool, sort the presets by, by tool. And show current tool, show current tool. If you'd like to show current tool presets, shows only the loaded presets for the active tool. And you can also select the current tool only option in the tool presets above panel. And text only, small list or large list, determines how presets are displayed in the above panel. And not only be careful to create load and manage libraries of tool presets see work with the preset manager.